Let's consider two materials for insulating a flat roof, foam concrete and polystyrene concrete. Which one is more profitable, efficient and reliable? We will go over technical solutions, roof preparation, slopes, laying of foam concrete and polystyrene concrete on a flat roof, protective layers for them, and the most interesting thing, which material will be cheaper for a flat roof? At the end of the video, I'll tell you what's wrong with foam concrete and how to fix it. The first step is to prepare the roof. Clean it from dust, seal cracks and crevices, and arrange a vapor barrier layer. This stage is identical for foam concrete and polystyrene concrete. The next step is to form a slope for water drainage and insulation. Polystyrene concrete is usually denser than foam concrete. This affects the choice of beacons and, accordingly, the speed and cost of their installation. It takes 25.30 man-hours to install metal cable beacons for a foam concrete on a flat roof of, for example, 100 square meters. For polystyrene concrete, the beacons must be strong and their installation requires several times more time. As for the thickness of the insulation layer, there is not much difference. The thermal conductivity of both materials is approximately the same. The next important stage is the protective layer. Polystyrene concrete has higher compressive and bending strength than foam concrete. However, both materials need a protective layer. This can be either a cement sand screed or a higher grade of foam concrete. For example, 6 cm of D, 600 foam concrete for roofing material. Two words about speed. The use of continuous foam concrete technology makes it possible to produce up to 15 cubic meters of D200 foam concrete per hour. Polystyrene concrete up to 15 to 20 cubic meters per day. Despite the great similarity of the materials, the production speed is quite different. An important aspect is fire safety. Foam concrete is completely non-combustible. Polystyrene concrete contains flammable polystyrene granules and can therefore burn out up to two centimeters of the layer thickness. It is also worth mentioning another nuance. When working with polystyrene concrete, the wind can carry polystyrene balls, which creates inconvenience, durability. In this regard, the materials are almost identical. They serve for decades, are not affected by moisture, and do not change their characteristics over time. Conclusion The materials are almost identical in their characteristics. Thermal conductivity, the need for protection, frost resistance, sound insulation, etc. Polystyrene concrete has a higher compressive strength. However, in terms of installation cost, foam concrete is up to 50% cheaper for several reasons. Firstly, polystyrene balls cost from 20 to 40 US dollars per cubic meter. And secondly, the continuous foam concrete production technology reduces the amount of man hours and consequently labor costs by many times. As you can see, the materials are very similar. Even the foaming agent, which is a key element in the creation of foam concrete, is also used in polystyrene concrete. But not as a foaming agent, but as a plasticizing, air entraining additive. The foaming agent is the key to making both high quality foam concrete and polystyrene concrete. The main problem with foam concrete is the quality of the foam. If the foam is unstable, the bubbles collapse and the material settles. Polystyrene concrete usually uses a surface-active additive saponified wood resin, SWR, which better distributes the polystyrene balls in height, keeps them in their saddles, and significantly improves the material's characteristics. However, recent studies show that it is the use of the protein foaming agent, which is a protein additive, improves the quality of the resulting polystyrene concrete. Its main advantages in addition to better quality replacement of SWR, include greater stability from batch to batch, availability and price. For foam concrete, our Liverton foaming agent creates a stable, finely dispersed foam that does not settle or delaminate. Thanks to this, the foam concrete remains strong, warm and durable. When Liverton foaming agent is added to polystyrene concrete instead of SWR, the performance of polystyrene concrete is significantly improved compared to traditional manufacturing recipes. We have been producing our foaming agent in Ukraine and exporting it around the world for over 10 years. Thanks to it, thousands of cubic meters of high-quality foam concrete 
were produced in Ukraine in 2024. But how exactly does our foaming agent work? Thanks to a special formula, it forms a stable foam that does not settle for several hours. This allows the cement mortar to harden without losing its structure. That is why our foaming agent is an ideal solution for the production of high-quality foam concrete. In addition, Liverton offers comprehensive solutions for manufacturers, consultations, equipment supplies, personnel training, and support at all stages of production. We are confident that with the right approach to foam concrete production, this material can become one of the most popular in construction.